Hey everybody, Joseph Romano here, and today I'm um, doing something very different in this video. I usually do music on my video, but this time, since I'm running out of ideas with new contents and stuff like that, I might as well uh, talk about like uh, the shows that I've watched in the past. So um, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys my Playbill collection. It's not something special, but it basically is special if people want to upload it because I've watched some YouTubers uh, playbills and they're not as great as mine, but you know, if people are, are interested in my playbills, then you know, leave a comment and tell me if you really like this video and if you really appreciate my, my playbills. I would really like that very much. So today, I collected about 20 playbills for my past few, uh, my past few years. Um, I have a Playbill Binder 1 and Plainder, uh, Playbill Binder 2. So this is the new one, the more modern, uh, you know, Broadway shows that people go and see today. So I'm gonna go through all of them. So, let's take a closer look, all right? The 1999 Radio City Christmas Spectacular Playbill. It's not really Broadway, but, you know, they have like a little booklet for it back then, so I might as well, you know, collected it in the past. So yeah, okay, here we go. So yeah, we have a uh, background for, you know, uh, Mercedes. Playbill, Phantom of the Opera, old one, and the kit in the background, BMW. Then I went to Carnegie Hall, in November 2010, and you could see right here it's a Playbill. And I went to see an orchestra in that time, and then it was such beautiful music. That's really great. And Titanic 3D. Let's see what's behind there. And we got Vo Voca people. Uh, you guys might not have heard of both people, but they're kind of similar to Blue Men Group, but they're all in white, and they use their voice. It's kind of like, uh, it's like, uh, Pentatonix. You know, have you heard of Pentatonix? Uh, you know, they use their vocals for everything. It's their instrument. It's kind of like that. So, yeah, another Mercedes poster. And Mary Poppins. That was a really good one. Um... And that play has probably been canceled, but Mary Poppins was a really great, you know, really good play. Yeah, Smash, another sitcom. And Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. I heard that Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark wasn't as good as all the rest of, of the Broadway shows, so I'm gonna, you know, call this a failed uh, Broadway play because it didn't do so well. I watched it myself, it wasn't that great compared to the movie. So yeah, another background of to Toyota. And Stomp. Right after Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, I saw Stomp. And nothing too, too special. I mean, the background is white and there's the letters. They use their, they use whatever they can find. You know, they actually use real street instruments. Like they would use garbage cans, they would use cans, they would use uh, tables, they would use Tic Tacs, they would use anything that is musical in that play. It's really great. Okay, another Lexus, um, you know, poster, stuff like that. Uh, Jersey Boys, really great. Very old playbill. I don't have the new playbill because I didn't see it um, to this very day, but yeah. So here it is, really great. You guys might have seen it or might have not seen Jersey Boys the movie but it, it's it's a really great movie it explains about their life and you know living in Brooklyn I think so yeah it's really great another poster and Wicked this is the Wicked the, the first playbill that I've that I've seen I, I'm gonna say that Wicked is my favorite um, Broadway show and yeah 
Here's another Wicked Playbill, which is very different. So uh, let me let me give you guys a closer look. Okay, now the difference of the Playbill of Wicked. You can see that the old one, it has like the Flying Monkeys with uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. And in the new one, the 2015 one, over 10 years, there's no Flying Monkeys. But you can see in the background of the green, there are no Flying Monkeys compared to the new one. There are. Everything is still the same. Um, there's a lot of sh there's a lot of sharp detail compared to uh, the new one. Uh, the new one, the, compared to the old one, I meant the new one, looks really great and has full of detail. You can see more strands of hair, and you can see less strands of hair over here. And yeah, so not a lot of green like shadow figures, but you can see it right here. And the nose texture and the lips, oh my goodness, they look so they look so real compared to uh, the old one. So, yeah, take a closer look. But it's all in the same feeder. Nothing else has changed. You can see the eyes are a little bit different compared to the, the new ones. Can you see that? Yeah. And you can see a little bit of cloudiness. And in the background, you can see not much. And the title, more modern. Old one, just, you know, just stale. So that, so, uh, so that's basically it. That's, that's all that there is to it. That's- Okay guys, I've returned. So, uh, now, um, let's move on. So here's like another car background and then behind it, it's Newsies. Another another Broadway show that has been canceled, but Newsies, oh my goodness, full of energy, talks about like, you know, these orphan boys growing up, you know, so poorly, but you know, at the end it starts to get better and people, you know, kids go on strike, you know. It's really great. Really great play, if, if anyone has seen it. So another car background. Yeah, closer look. Lion King. Lion King was a really great one. I think it's been around since 2000, um, 2002, I think, but I'm not sure. But it's been, it probably has been longer. I know it has been longer more than 10 years. So yeah, so here's Lion King. Another background for a perfume thing. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, Cinderella, I went to see Cinderella. Really great. Nothing, comp it, it, it was, wasn't the same as Disney, but it seems like for this Cinderella, they did a really great job compared to Disney's uh, 1960s uh, Cinderella. So it's, it's really great. Another car background, Aladdin. Aladdin was really great. They actually, um, you know, played this at the same theater as Mary Poppins. So if you actually see uh, Aladdin on Broadway, you can, really compare the difference from the movie theater, you know, of seeing Mary Poppins and Aladdin at the same time. I mean, yeah. Disney, stuff like that, so. Another car poster. Matilda. Matilda was a really great one. Nothing compared to the movie. Um, to be honest, I kind of like the movie better than the, than the play. And then I prefer the book better than the movie because, you know, the movie explains all, you know, all the stuff that is going on in Matilda's life and it gives us a little detail about what has she been doing. But uh, I guess it was okay, but it didn't really last long. And, you know, Kelly and Michael background. So, yeah. So this is um, a New York theater goers season of savings. So I count this as a playbill because, you know, the title says playbill and, you know, here it says winter 2015. And it actually does look like a playbill compared to other playbills that look exactly the same. So I, I kind of count this as a playbill. It's pretty nice and um, very recognizable as a playbill. So yeah. And I remember 2015 really well. So yeah. Here's the background for another sitcom. Yeah. Finding Neverland. I, I remember I used to see the film uh, in 2003. 
Um, so this is like the background of Finding Neverland. It was really great. Um, great actors, great, you know, costume design. Great, really amazing. So uh, here's another background for a perfume. And this is the physical ticket. I think it, School of Rock. See, look. Uh, School of Rock, see, look, here it says it. Okay, so here's the copy. School of Rock in Winter Garden Theater. Really great. Um, it's not the same, it is kind of the same compared to the movie, but I feel like the movie gave us a little bit of inside, you know, with Jack Black and all that kind of stuff, but I just really wish Jack Black was in, was playing, you know, the main character of the, the play, but hey, they found a real professional um, people to actually be in School of Rock, and yeah, the kids, they played the instruments like crazy. Yeah, it's for real. So uh, that's, that's, uh, that's the end for Binder 1. So I'm going on to Binder 2. So here's Binder 2. And what do we have here? Um, Orange is the New Black. Netflix. Pride. All that kind of stuff. So here's Phantom of the Opera. And yeah, um, it was really great, Phantom of the Opera. I last but not least, my 20th and last Broadway show that I went to go and see is SpongeBob the Musical. The best show that I've seen so far compared to, to Wicked. So, why do I like Spongebob the Musical so far? Well, it's got a cast of characters, and it's not that boring, and it's it's something new that, that kids and adults can experience, and, you know, what they really like ab about, you know. And guys, if you want proof that I actually met the cast members of um, Spongebob the Musical, and click the link in the description below and um, see the Instagram photo of um, me and my sister, um, you know, taking some photos of the cast member. Well, that's, uh, that's the end of my video. Um, college, I'm not in high school anymore. So, yeah. And if you guys like me uh, uploading more Spongebob content, um, then you might want to check out the Campfire Song song. It's it's going up the roof. And don't forget to subscribe. And see you guys later.